Dubai just did something no other city in the world has done. Imagine living in a place where cutting edge artificial intelligence isn't just a tech buzzword, it's a public utility. That's exactly what's happening right now. The UAE is giving every Dubai resident free access to ChatGPT Plus, the premium version of one of the world's most powerful AI tools. Not in five years, not as a pilot. It's happening now. And this move could completely transform how we learn, work, and create. So before we break it all down, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You're not going to want to miss what's coming next because AI is about to become part of your daily routine. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So the UAE government has teamed up with OpenAI to offer complimentary access to ChatGPT Plus for all residents. I think this is a big deal. ChatGPT Plus, which normally costs $20 a month, gives you access to ChatGPT 4, which is the latest and most powerful version of OpenAI's chatbot. It's faster, smarter, and more capable than the free version. And now, if you're in Dubai, it's yours at no cost. This isn't just a random gift. It's part of a bigger vision. It ties directly into the UAE's national strategy to lead in artificial intelligence, innovation, and digital transformation. The initiative is also linked to a massive infrastructure project called Stargate UAE. That's the name of a new supercomputing hub being built in Abu Dhabi. And when I say super, I mean super. This center will run on a one gigawatt AI computing cluster. For comparison, that's more computing power than what some entire countries have at their disposal. The first phase of Stargate, which is 200 megawatts, is expected to go live next year. It's being developed by G42, which is a prominent Abu Dhabi-based tech company in collaboration with OpenAI and Microsoft. Stargate isn't just about hardware. It's the infrastructure backbone that will power AI development across the UAE and the wider region. Now, let's talk about why this is such a groundbreaking move. It's not just about you gaining access to a $20 subscription. Most countries are still debating how to regulate AI. However, Dubai, on the other hand, it's already building the future. Giving people access to ChatGPT Plus isn't just about helping students write better essays or professionals draft sharper emails. It's about embedding artificial intelligence into the DNA of everyday life over here. Think about this. How much time do you spend on emails, presentations, research, planning trips, or even creating content. Now imagine having a tool that helps you do all that, but 10 times faster and smarter. Whether you're a student at AUD or Zayed University, a marketer in Dubai Media City, a finance executive in DIFC, or a freelancer working out of a cafe in JLT, you now have a productivity powerhouse at your fingertips. And you don't have to be ashamed of it. It's being normalized. And this move is especially significant because it removes a major barrier, the cost of it. Not everyone can afford premium AI tools, especially if you're just getting started or running a small business. By removing that barrier, the UAE is saying everyone deserves access to the future. That's a huge statement and a huge advantage for residents over here. This also ties into the UAE's broader push for digital excellence. Programs like Coder's headquarters the One Million Arab Coders Initiative and the Dubai Future Foundation are all part of a national effort to make AI and tech literacy part of the culture. And now, free ChatGPT Plus takes that mission even further. Another interesting angle here is education. Teachers, students, and universities now have direct access to a tool that's being described as the calculator for writing and thinking. Imagine learning with real-time AI assistance, answering questions, and summarizing lectures, or generating your study guides. That's not the future anymore. That's today, and UAE is banking hard on this. They're incorporating it into all schools and the entire education system. Now, in the business world, this is just as impactful. Customer service, lead generation, marketing, and even HR can be optimized using ChatGPT+. And with access baked into everyday life here in 
Dubai, we might see a wave of startups, content creators, and entrepreneurs who are all AI native from day one. It's a cultural shift that could create a more competitive and more innovative economy overall. Now, I know what some people might be thinking. What's the catch over here? As far as we know, there isn't one. This isn't a trial. It's part of the UAE's long-term partnership with OpenAI. The government understands that global competitiveness depends on access, not just to oil or capital, but to computational power. Giving people AI tools today means preparing them for the challenges and opportunities of tomorrow. So here are my final thoughts. Personally, I think this is one of the most exciting tech moves Dubai has ever made, and I don't say that lightly. We've seen major infrastructure investments before, like roads, ports, airports. But this is different. This is digital infrastructure. This is the stuff that will define how we live and work over the next 10 to 20 years in the region. What I really respect is that the UAE isn't waiting for someone else to figure it out. They're making bold moves now building AI data centers, partnering with global leaders, and giving people direct access to the tools of tomorrow. If you're living in Dubai right now, you're not just witnessing history, I think you're part of it. So I want to hear from you. Are you using ChatGPT in your daily life? Or what would you do with the premium version now that it's being offered for free? Let's get the conversation going in the comments down below. And if this video gave you a fresh perspective on what's happening here in Dubai, please Please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future updates and news about Dubai. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.